In the last episode of Day in the Dream, I'll show you guys that I made the most of not having a job waiting for my documents to arrive by working on my music. I was struggling for a hot minute to create my first beat for my first single but then the power of prayer and manifestation takes over. After working on the beat later that night I get my mom's input on it and see how she feels. Struggling financially and mentally yet again, God reveals to me that I'm still on the right path despite everything going on. Even if I lost the So I've been doing great with operating on a higher frequency these last few weeks then boom. I received a text from someone and it caused me to smile because I began thinking about all the different things that I have to pay. And there's not much that I'm able to do until I get the documents that I ordered to even get a job. So I hate that I'm on this negative frequency. So what I do is I play music that soothes my mind. Music that makes me feel like if I were to listen to it in the future, I would feel very nostalgic about where I've come from. You know, like a, a good feeling. Like, look how far I've come. So remember how, it was like a few days ago, maybe like a week and a half ago. Remember when I was talking about my favorite song? I don't think I ever told you the name. This song, my favorite song to this day is 22 by Lil Candy Pate featuring Bad Baby. You know what I was talking about? When I was talking about, you know, how I use that song to reflect on the feature and how it's so comforting to me. My theory is the reason why I like it so much is because it's called 22, but I didn't realize that my favorite song at the time was 22. You, you see where I'm going with this? Mm -hmm. God told me it's clear as day in 2017 when I was claiming 2018 was my year that it was actually going to be this year, 2022. And I remember being like, uh, no, that's the devil because God said I can have what I want when I want and I want it now. But little did I know that I would have to learn so much and I would have to really step into who I am. You know, I attached the good feeling that I got from the song 22 to how I feel about my life and my future and what I'm gonna be doing in the year 2022. I feel like I just took the vibes that I was getting from the song and the vibes that I was getting from my life and I just subconsciously blended the two to be this overall feeling of excellence coming for me in this year. I just feel like everything is connecting so one day has passed and is now 2 2022 I can get a job I can get a job now that my documents have arrived I can finally get a job and I feel a lot better because the job I applied to was basically waiting on me. They said to give them a call back when I had received the documents and they would get me started. So not five minutes after receiving my documents, I handle my business. Are you calling to place a new pickup order today? No. So since all of the business is handled now, I can go back to working on my music. And while I'm working on my music, I just have this thought in my head that Maybe my music isn't as good as I think it is. So the thought basically went like, you need to redo this entire song. It's very weak, it is very bad. Just rewrite the entire song. And as soon as I was about to start rewriting the entire song, I get a call from my best friend. Hello? Hello? Hi! What up, what up, what? I missed you. So how's it going with your music? You still settling in? Yeah, still doing that. I did actually talk to the producer. Okay, that's what I called you for, cause I know you was gonna come with the vibe, the vibe that I needed before I uh, put it up today and chill out. But I'm rewriting my song. Wow. And basically, for the last few days, I've been writing. I will not stop until I get a sound that I like. I did that with the beat. When I tried to record the first version of the song, something kept telling me, yeah, this part is good, but this part is weak. Redo this part in the beat, redo this part of the lyrics. Boom, right there. All of a sudden, I remember that certain parts of the song needed to be rewritten. 
not the whole entire thing. But I mean, that's, that's, that's true and all, but I got, you know, with me, like, you could have said stuff that I can hear and you can and give you feedback because I've been doing it for a long time. You know, a lot of times people self-sabotage a fucking nice song or a bad beat or whatever. So God basically had my best friend in that conversation confirm to me what I knew subconsciously but was not getting. But I, a lot of times I recorded something and I'm like, that is your name. And then I like, my friend out here and they be like, oh shit, we gotta keep that. But you know, somebody else. So what I do is I look up on my phone and I Google local producers and I try and call one so maybe I can get in on an appointment to learn a thing or two. So I started a whole new song with the beat that I created. And I've tried recording this new song numerous times just to not like how the song sounds. If it wasn't the way I sounded on the beat, it was the lyrics itself. Like it was just missing syllables. Like the beat wasn't getting full. Of lyrics, like it just—it was very lackluster to me. Hello. Oh. Hello, this is Yaya Nurbani. Today, I'm calling you back. I'm sorry, we have missed your call. My name's Yaya. How can I help you today? I was calling to see um, if I could schedule an appointment to talk to a producer and you know learn a thing or two. So, to be honest, I just could not understand the lady, and I just felt the need to hang up the phone. So that's exactly what I do. So I end up going back to YouTube videos and in the YouTube video I'm watching, the guy was basically saying that make sure that you're listening to your music and consumer product. So I send the song to my phone and I'm listening to it in Apple headphones, over the head headphones, and also my mom's car speaker. And now I'm super stressed because the song is nowhere near done. I have this very trashy remade version of my song and now I have this very bad unmastered beat. And now I'm just super stressed because this song is nowhere near ready. After listening to my song and doing some comparison, I realized that my song was not downloaded to my phone, meaning that I was listening to a messed up, downgraded audio quality version of the song. I feel like the beat is okay. Like I feel like, you know, I'm self-sabotaging myself. So I let it go. And I had to realize that this whole thing is a process. So shortly after all of that, clarity came. Yeah, it's the words. It's the words. I'm not confident in the words. I now realize that my original lyrics were better than what I had just rewrote. Maybe I don't got in my head and sabotage myself. I can drag them all in these weird doughs. I ain't got no time for these weird hoes. Always talking to get out of jail. You know what I mean? I've been feeling like I'm in a choke hole. Never again, and that's an odd thing. I did it wrong, and I wouldn't have thought I'm the pick a lot to y'all go. Who the hoes did to me? So I can catch the rock. Nah, y'all ain't even mad. You bumps is kind of I stay with facts. I'm going from the center, I'm standing back. I'm the whole pack, and never been less than that. I sabotage, I think I sabotage myself. So by this time, I fully understand now what is going on not even aware of what god already revealed to me prior with my best friend in that phone call i really understand it now so with all of this stuff going on my main lesson that i really feel like i understand now is to be definite in what i'm doing 100 percent and to stay out of my own way